Hello and welcome to my ultra life. I'm in Beijing, China, and just behind me is the famous uh, Bird's Nest National Stadium. And uh, on the other side here is the uh, Bubble Cube uh, Olympic Swim Center. And I'm standing on the Olympic Green, which is a very long, uh, it's not green at all, it's a, it's a very long, wide uh, sidewalk. Uh, it must go for at least a mile or so. Uh, I'm sure this was packed with people during the Olympics. Actually, the stadium is quite busy. There's the IAAF World Championships going on right now, which appears to be a uh, track and field event. Uh, Usain Bolt is still the fastest man in the world and uh, lots of other exciting uh, track and field events. I'm planning to go into the uh, water cube and actually swim in the warm-up pool. You can do that if you pay about 200 yuan, which is maybe 10 bucks. Uh, so I'm going to swim some laps. If you've been watching my videos, which have not been very frequent, you'll know that the last one was April 1st in Minneapolis. I ran about 13 miles, but I was having a lot of pain. You know, I, I was, I've been running, trying to get back into the running, but just uh, too painful, honestly. And, uh, and maybe I was just too fat. So I took a little break, but lately I've been quite active, swimming and biking a lot. I've been doing a morning exercise of biking four miles to the local swim pool, swimming for about 40 minutes and biking home, and, uh, and then biking in the afternoons to Seal Beach very often, uh, 20 miles and sometimes to Bolsa Chica, 30 miles. So at least 100 miles or more on the bike each week uh, and, uh, and a lot of swimming. So while I'm here in Beijing, China, I figure uh, I would do some swimming. You know, I, I really thought it would be smoggy and not a place to go jogging, so I didn't plan a jog at all. Uh, but it's actually, look, it's blue sky and sunny. It's uh, a little hot and humid, but um, not smoggy at all. I'm, I'm really surprised. So uh, it's been beautiful here in Beijing, and let's check out the Olympic pool. It may not look like it at a distance, but the water cube building is really quite large. There's a, a huge area that was the diving pool. Then they have a 50 meter competition pool. They have a 50 meter warm up pool. And they had another pool, which now they've turned into a water park and a wave pool. So um, lots of big pools inside, as well as seating and you know for the stadium to watch everybody. So it's really an immense uh, building inside. And the Chinese, you know, they, they don't um, take anything for granted. If you want to just go in and look around, it's 30 yuan, which is about six bucks, five, six bucks, just to go in and look around. So um, they, uh, they definitely know how to get a buck out of everybody. Uh, luckily, getting here on the green was free, uh, but uh, it's going to cost me a couple, you know, what, 10 bucks or so just to go in and swim for an hour. So I better make the most of my swim. So you can see here, it's really quite a big building. This is the main stadium with a diving pool at the end. And uh, this is the 50 meter competition pool. But it looks like it's uh, kind of in transition. They've got all these uh, things here. I think maybe they had ice skating or something else in here at one time. And they're taking this apart. Maybe they're gonna turn it back into a pool. I don't know. But I did read that at one point there was a uh, game show, some sort of celebrity game show in here. So uh, it's been the water cube of many uses. And uh, here's the warm-up pool. Another 50 meter pool. And it looks like maybe a kiddie pool behind there. Uh, you can see the fence here. They call that the shallow end and then closer to me is the deep end. If you want to swim in the deep end, which looks a little bit less crowded, you actually have to do a swim test and be certified. You have to swim 200 meters to uh, prove that you can actually swim. And uh, they charge only 20 RMB for that test. And since I'm going to swim here only once, I may just skip that. Uh, so let's see. We'll go get down into the uh, pool area. 
So here I am at the warm-up pool. Uh, it's actually 60 RMB, which is $10. I was wrong about the 200, but uh, still 10 bucks. And uh, they give you two hours. I'm sure I don't need to, a two-hour swim, but uh, I will make the best of it. And it's not every day you can say you swam in the Olympic water cube. And I'm just happy to be here and happy to have the opportunity. And uh, unfortunately, I don't think I can videotape in here anymore. So I'm going to leave. So I have swum in the Olympic water cube. And I was definitely the uh, white minority in the pool. And uh, probably one of the few Americans who was not an Olympian to experience this wonderful facility. Uh, I was in the shallow end, which was pretty crowded most of the time, but I did get several laps in and I had a, a nice swim. And then um, I ended up helping or tried to help a bunch of teenagers learn to swim. So I kind of gave swim lessons for about 40 minutes. And I don't know if it was the students or the teacher, but after 40 minutes, there was absolutely no results. So I'm, I'm a horrible swim teacher, I'm sure of it. You know, I tried to get them to go like a, a rocket ship and one of the reactions was America rock and roll <laughs> so I'm not sure the message got across but we had fun and uh, I had a great workout and a great experience here at the water cube so I've had an ultra life time and I hope you have an ultra life too